What's going on? Obviously, I took a little break from YouTube, but uh, I definitely haven't been taking a break from working on cars. Um, I missed a lot of videoing opportunities. I just wanted to knock out some stuff and just, um, it's kind of nice not having to think about what you want to film and what you don't want to film. And it's nice to just, you know, kind of work on cars without thinking about what you need to film. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to make this video just as a, like a quick gar a garage update. Um, so yeah, I'm going to turn the camera around here and I'm on an iPhone and I don't think I can uh, swap it. So I'm going to start a new clip. Okay, so these are the two vehicles I have been working on. I'm most excited about this. Mind you, I bought both of these stocks, so you can clearly see they are not no longer stock. I've pretty much been working nonstop since the last video on both of these cars, and I'll show you kind of what they are and what I've done. This is obviously a facelifted first gen Tacoma. This is the mini Tacoma. Let me try to get a better view. Single cab. And I wanted to do like a mini truck type uh, grip build. And this, it's funny because, <coughs> excuse me, um, I wanted a facelifted first gen because I like mini trucks, but I don't like many of the body styles. Like I don't like the super old ones. They just look like shit boxes to me. So I saw this pop up on Marketplace and one of the trades he was looking for was something diesel powered. And I had that Jeep that I just wasn't using, but the diesel Cherokee. I was like, hey, you want to trade? And he said, yeah. And so <laughs> I traded the Jeep for this. Uh, I'm super stoked on it. It's painted the, uh, like a Nardo gray, or like the Toyota cement gray. It's not a professional job, but it's good enough. It looks like a decent Mako job. Um, but yeah. I think this is the most fun I've had working on the project so far, besides the Mustang. The Mustang was pretty fun to work on. Um, so I put the, uh, Momo steering wheel in there because the, the, honestly, this steering wheel, the factory Toyota steering wheel is too big for the, uh, the single standard cab mini Tacoma. It's, it's nice for the, like the full size tacos, but it was way too big in here. I'm only 5'10 and I, it was like hitting my quads. So super annoying. Um, I got a TRD knob, shift knob. It is a manual two wheel drive. Um, but it's super small, so I ordered a different uh, a Killer B. It's meant for a Subaru, but it's uh, it's the same thread pitch, so it hasn't arrived yet. Oh, and I also did the dash swap. So this, a lot of these single cab uh, mini tacos come with the uh, the cluster that has no tack. It just has the big speedo in the middle, and then the uh, water temp and gas, um, and it's a direct swap. If you get uh, the white face cluster with attack from a four cylinder uh, full size taco, so swap that in. Super happy about that. Also, you gotta love that orange. It has to be one of the best factory truck gauges from the early 2000s, in my opinion. I've always liked those. Um, that's all I've done to the interior. Um, both of the handles were broken, I fixed those. That was a fun story. I got locked out with taking my dog to the vet on like a hundred degree day. So thank God she wasn't stuck in the car. But um, yeah, so it originally came with, let's see if I can pull them up, these taillights. And uh, they weren't bad. They're kind of ricey, but not really. It's like a pretty high quality LED in there. But uh, I like this look, so I, I just grabbed some of these and put those on. So I like those taillights a lot better. And then it came on, I'll insert a picture, but it actually was lifted and it had uh, like black wheels, black off-road reels, and it had the uh, BFG KM3 mud terrain. So I, it was cool because I traded for the Jeep and I still had the new tires I hadn't put on the Jeep, so I sold those. And then I sold the whole lift and uh, wheel tire setup that was on this. And then that allowed me to get the lowering kit and this wheel and tire setup. So this is a, it's an MST wheel. So 17 by nine, 17 by nine and a half. Can't remember. Um, but the tire is a 275.50. So these are grippy boys. 
They're little NT555s. And uh, it's some meat, some chunk. Which is why I wanted to do a truck build because I knew you could fit a bunch of meat on there. So this is gonna be sick. It's not done yet. Uh, the front is actually too low. I uh, I bought a lowering coil that people said didn't take it low enough. So my dumbass modified it and cut a coil off before I installed it because I was listening to everybody else. And now I can barely fit a finger in there and it's too low. So I paid the price and I ordered another set of uh, the lowering coils. I'm just not gonna modify them. So it should sit an inch higher in the front than it's sitting right now. I know the stance boys were like, no, it's perfect. It's not low enough, but yeah. Uh, don't pay attention to this gap. I know it looks like a lot, but this, the garage is slanted. So it's like sitting like angled. So this side is, it's not that high when it's on flat ground. Um, but yeah, and then I also have in those boxes over there, uh, that's like a straight bumper. So this will be gone. Then it's just a flat plate that goes along. So basically all this gets cut off. Um, it's a super simple install and it gets rid of that ugly ass bumper. I'm not going to be towing anything with it anyway. So yeah, I think those are all the modifications I've done to the truck so far. Ooh, actually no. I did a small engine bay mod. I actually took the, I took the, um, that TIG welded intake pipe. I don't, did I show you guys that? Yeah, on the Mustang. And, uh, put it on here. Where the hell? So, I wish I had the factory piping to show you, but on these Tacomas, the four cylinders, there is a whole mess of piping that's hooked up to the uh, intake uh, pipe. And it's like all these loop-de-loops -loops and a bunch of bullshit. So I took this piece, which I believe came with the Mustang and uh, took the TIG welded pipe and made that the center section and then just hooked it straight to the air box. And I wish I had the factory piping to show you because oh my God, it was a shit show. Um, Definitely better, better throttle response. Um, and it's still taking the air from outside. It's not a hot air intake and I put some heat wrap on there. So I'm happy with it. Definitely sounds a little bit better. And I'm sure it's uh, it's getting uh, way more air to the system because this piping is a lot bigger than what was on there as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a four banger. It's it's not, <laughs> not gonna be putting out crazy power, but whatever you can do. Um, the AC also didn't work when I got it, so it still doesn't. I have all the AC components under there, including the vacuum pump and all the stuff you need to recharge an AC and fix it, so I will be doing that. Um, as far as further modifications go, if I end up liking the truck as much as I do right now, I'm probably going to do coilovers on the front, um, and I'll figure out the rear at some point as well. Um, but I think that's it. Probably not gonna do an exhaust. Um, so yeah, let's jump over to the Audi now. So I don't know, I don't think I ever put this on my channel, uh, but I used to have a silver A4 B5 chassis, uh, but it was the V6 model, but I loved it. That thing was a grip monster. I literally had the stock tire size on there. I think it was like a 205. And I had to like rip the e-brake in the rain to get that to break loose. I don't know what it is about these old Audis, but um, I love them. So I decided to, to get another one and I couldn't argue with the price either. It was 1500 bucks. Um, obviously it has its issues. There was a little, a little, there's a good a bit of damage right there. There's some damage right there. It was obviously hit on the side somewhere. Um, but this is the 1.8 turbo model. Quattro stick shift and I uh, I can't not put meat on there so I got some 17 by eight and a halfs and it's a 255 40 uh, Falcon so definitely got some grip on there and it's on factory suspension so that's why it looks like a monster truck right now and I'm not done with the interior. I'm actually in the process of 
swapping and I'm almost done, but it was a full beige interior and I picked up an all black interior and I've been swapping it out slowly. Um, I got put the center boost gauge in because it didn't have one. And then I actually took a shift knob from the B6 five speed because I always love those, those ball, factory ball style shift knobs. So I put that on there. Um, and then I'll pop the hood. I've actually done quite a bit to the engine on this one just because it was so shot. Like there was so much shoddy work done to it when I got it that I just decided to redo everything because I was like piecing stuff together. I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna redo it all. Sorry about that. I got a phone call and it cut out. Um, so yeah, it's a good turbo. Um, I got the Evolution Raceworks hard aluminum intake pipe. I got the AEM filter that I actually stole from the Mustang. R8 coil packs, um, uh, la, 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 a downpipe, and then the factory exhaust out the back. It's awesome because I got the full, uh, full straight pipe essentially, but it has the uh, factory muffler and resonator on there, so it's not obnoxious, but I still get the power gains. Um, stock intercooler, stock fueling. I'm just going to have someone tune it on how it sits right now. And I'm just going to run with it. It'll be enough power for what I'm looking for. Also put some new uh, projectors in there. This was factory uh, HID car, so I kept it that way. Uh, put some, um, oh, was it Phillips? Either Phillips or Osram HID bulbs in there because the previous owner had Chinese bullshit and it looked like garbage and wasn't bright at all. I had the ABS system rebuilt because there was a fault. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be getting a tune here in the next week or so, whenever I have time. I also need to breathe the, breathe the brakes. I need to bleed the brakes. Um, I actually put EBC yellow pads and uh, steel braided lines all around, so I'll have to bleed the brakes. And I forgot to mention, I put EBC yellow pads on the truck too. Got to have the stopping power. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Just kind of wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. Like I said, I took a break from YouTube, but I definitely haven't been taking a break on the cars. Um, I'll probably make videos of the tune and after the tune and mobbing the truck and stuff. And I'm going to be meeting up with friends and probably doing autocross in the future. Uh, I finally have someone to do it with so I can actually use my car. So my phone's about to die. I uh, hope everything's been going good with you guys. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Later.